Namaste. Welcome. Have you ever experienced a stronger sense of taste, smell, and hearing during or after a meditation practice? Or even when you do your pranayam or breath regulation exercises? Meditation practices where we make use of our tongue to flow and channel our energy. Um, examples would be the Talabya Kriya, Nabhu Kriya, even the tongue exercises, or an advanced Kachari Mudra. When it comes to breath regulation, the Nadi Shodhana, when you do your Nadi Shodhana and suddenly you experience this uh, heightened sense of smell, that out of nowhere this faint smell will just happen, yeah, but it's not present physically, yeah, but it's there. Yeah. In the Kachari Mudra, for example, you will you know, experience um, bitter taste or salty, sweet taste yeah, running from the box of the nasal cavity All right. or sense of hearing. Yeah. That suddenly you will just be uh, hearing uh, a light ringing sound or uh, a drumming beat or like high pitch uh, noise and then after a few seconds it will just go yeah. these are common this are natural right. why why is this so because as we do those um, methods we inevitably stimulate the nerves which are responsible or directly affect those senses the olfactory nerves we hold behind the nasal cavity right here yeah, and then, we, for example, do the alternate nostril breathing, Kachari Mudra, we essentially stimulate those nerves, which are all connected to the nervous system. Thus, they produce this heightened awareness. All right. Is it good? Definitely, yes. Because it only means that you are stimulating your nervous system and um, you increase your awareness. Um, this um, things are present all along. It's just that we are not so aware of them in a general circumstance. But when we're able to stimulate the nerves which are uh, responsible for the promotion of those senses, then definitely they manifest. All right. Now let's um, focus more on the taste. Yeah. Because this is important when it comes to reinforcing our cleansing practices around. Um, you might be able to experience some days like bitter, foul taste. If you experience that during the meditation, I would suggest that you stop your meditation practice. You don't want to be continuing right? and do your cleansing instead. All right. So, there are many cleansing or kriyas or dauti practices that you can do to flush uh, the foul taste. Now, those are like the toxin materials we hold inside our body, you know, trying to make its way out of our mouth. All right. Thus, we have what we call the vaman uh, dauti, where we um, take you know, large amounts of water and then we you know, willingly through the use of our clean hands flush the water out and together with that flushing of the water we release the toxins as well all right but when you do this um, cleansing practices make sure you know the technicality so please seek guidance you know, consult your teacher right. or simply just wretch it out you know, rinse them out you know, even flush the um, after rinsing, um, gargle a bit, and then flush the um, dirty you know, water out of your mouth, and then resume your meditation practice again. All right. Now, another type of uh, taste is this sweet and then salty taste. All right. Uh, in traditional yoga texts, we call that the soma rasa juice or the soma which is a substance we hold you know, inside the brain, the inner brain. And then during the meditation, especially in the practice of Kachari Mudra, and I experience this um, many times, that once the um, 
the the tongue and the backs of the throat become to open you will experience this um, not really a gushing sensation but a very mild uh, taste of like bitter sweet salty yeah and when you're able to um, experience that yeah just carry on with your meditation yeah. is there some rasa juice trying to make its way down to nourish the the lower regions of the body yeah it's the um, elixir of life yeah you call it yoga but yeah really there is such a substance called the samarasa juice when you experience that just carry on with your practice yeah uh, you don't have to yeah, do your rinsing but if you experience the bitter foul taste yeah stop your meditation for a moment do your rinsing and then resume your meditation again yeah for the sense of smell just let it happen for the sense of hearing if you experience too intense ringing sound that it becomes too um heavy for your eardrums again stop your meditation yeah you may do now one the breaths of fire yeah and just to release the pressure and then resume your meditation again so those are the common side effects of meditation breath regulation that we practice and the other many things you will experience in the future much more to come you are just doing fine as long as they do not cause pain and strain it's perfectly normal till the next time namaste